Just after 1.30am this morning, police and emergency services were called to North Terrace in Port Elliot in relation to a blue Ford sedan which had collided with a group of people out the front of a licensed premises. After doing so, that vehicle left the area. Yep. Upon arrival, police identified numerous victims and also had a number of witnesses come forward, providing information in relation to the vehicle involved. A short time later, the driver of the suspect vehicle returned to the scene and was arrested by local patrols. The 37-year-old man has since been taken to the Christie's Beach Police Station where he has been interviewed, charged and refused bail. A short time later, the vehicle believed to have been involved in the incident was located nearby on Sturt Street. A 22-year-old man from Highmarsh Island received serious life-threatening injuries and was flown to Adelaide where he remains in hospital. Two men and two women were also treated at hospital for minor injuries. North Terrace has since been reopened to the public. Anyone who witnessed the incident or is a victim who has not yet spoken to police or anyone who has video footage of the incident is asked to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000 or submit their information online at www.crimestoppersa.com.au. So, a 37 year old man, and can you tell us where he's from and what he's been charged with and if he tested positive for drugs or alcohol? So as far as um, the, um, the alcohol reading, that's still subject to investigation, so I can't comment on that at this time. Uh, charges at this point um, uh, drive dangerous, cause serious harm, aggravated drive, driving without due care, and leaving the scene of an accident. Um, it is known that uh, the male involved uh, has previously resided uh, interstate in New South Wales. Um, but part of the investigation will ascertain um, as to whether he currently resides here in SA. We're unsure of that at this time. So what's, what's your reaction to what happened last night? Uh, it just goes to show that um, this, this type of behaviour is completely um, unacceptable. Um, the investigation is still trying to determine exactly what occurred outside of the hotel. Uh, there was a clearly an altercation um, that occurred. Um, but what happened after that altercation um, is um, obviously completely what was unacceptable. The relationship between the victims and the um, driver. If we had... don't know at this time. And We're not... still trying to ascertain that. And amongst the victims, were they family or friends? Or... We're not sure of that um, either at this time. Obviously, there was a large amount of people um, at the premises last night. So we're still trying to link together um, who is associated with who. Have you got any update on the condition? Sorry, you, unless, yeah. you, unless you need your paper, could you drop that away from your mic? Yeah, and, and please look down, the, look down the middle of the cameras. So as far as um, update of um, his um, injuries, um, we believe he's in surgery at this time. Um, so we don't have that yet. We hope to have that later today. Is it, do you know, um, we heard that apparently one of the victims involved was a worker at we believe that to be true. So is it a case that there was a worker who tried to intervene or not, it's not clear? Uh, we're, still, we're still not certain on that. Um, obviously there's um, a degree of CCTV that we're still uh, working through, um, but we do believe that one of the victims was a worker um, from the hotel. Is it um, early days, but obviously you're taking witness statements, what appears to have sparked the conversation or the uh, we're uncertain what led to uh, the confrontation out the front. What, uh, what we do know is there was certainly a confrontation at the front of the hotel. Um, that, that is true, but what led up to that occurring, um, we're not sure. That's part of the investigation, obviously, hopefully further CCTV um, that we're investigating will determine what actually occurred leading up to it. And and so we've well, so we heard, well we um, heard that the car was parked out the front the people from the hotel who were leaving at closing time attacked the car, were hitting the car. The car's driven off and then reversed back into the crowd. Is that your understanding of how things happened? Uh, there, there was certainly an altercation um, to, to that degree out the front. Um, again, we, we've only got a very small um, piece of the story at this time. There was obviously a lot more that occurred um, that, that caused that to happen. Um, and, and that's what we're trying to determine at this time. Do you know why the driver actually returned to the scene? Was he recalled by police or did he 
return of his own volition? We are uncertain as to why he returned. Um, he certainly did return, but as to why um, he did that, I'm not sure. Can you confirm um, why you can't elaborate any further on the relationship? Can you confirm that the whole group of people were all known to each other, including the... Where it, it's uncertain. Uh, what we do know is there were a lot of people at the licence premises um, last night, and. As you can understand, um, the premises closed for the night, so everybody spilled out onto the street. Um, I'm sure that some of them were known to each other and others weren't. Can you give us a ballpark in at least how many people were involved at this stage? Um, not cheap. It would be in excess of 10 to 15 people, uh, but there were certainly more people than that at the premises um, last night. Sorry. Are you able to let us know um, whether or not the 37-year-old is known to police? Um, we don't know. We're, we're, we're still working through that. Um, we do know that he has previously been recorded interstate in New South Wales. Um, we're still ascertaining as to um, whether he's had any involvement with us here in SA. There's, there's some suggestion that he was driving erratically before this uh, altercation took place. Is, is that what you believe? We are, it's, we're yet to be able to confirm that. Um, we have, um, uh, some witnesses have certainly suggested that, mm -hmm. uh, but we'd like to confirm that through um, door knocks and CCTV. Uh, before we can confirm it. Without labouring on any <coughs> grisly details, can you tell us a bit about how, I, I mean, did the car go over the man completely or just hit him on the, sort of brush him along the side or what was the nature of the injuries that he suffered? Um, um, he has suffered significant leg injuries. Um, we believe that the group um, was out the front of the hotel um, uh, near the veranda area. Uh, the car has uh, reversed into that crowd um, and um, potentially um, pin some people against the wall, so to speak, um, hence causing pretty significant injuries. And it was witnessed by lots of people? I believe so, yes. Are you amazed in that situation that no one was killed? Absolutely, yeah. We're, we're dealing with a, um, you know, a heavy metal object. Um, a vehicle can very much be used as a weapon if, if used in the wrong way. Um, it was accelerated um, at speed into a group of people, so yeah, absolutely. Last question, um, how, um, can you just elaborate as well? Um, you mentioned it before, but he's obviously been hit with quite a number of charges. How serious are all of those uh, in itself? Um, and um, I guess, what kind of words come to mind when you think of someone who engages in that kind of behaviour? Oh, like I said before, um, completely unacceptable uh, behaviour. They have very serious charges, um, hence why the male's been refused bail. And just as well, is it lucky that um, more people weren't involved? Obviously, it's a long weekend. Um, you know, all you're going to do is drive down there at the moment and just see how busy it is. Um, yeah, is that up to the viewer, please? Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, this happened at um, between 1 and 2 in the morning. Um, if this happened in the middle of the day where, where more patrons were at the hotel or in the uh, main road of uh, Port Elliot, um, highly probable that more people would have been hurt. Given that it just did happen so early in the morning, was the pub actually, um, I suppose, operating within its licensed hours? Uh, the pub had just closed. Um, last drinks had been called, um, hence why the patrons uh, spilled out onto the road and were obviously standing out the front uh, waiting to go home. Um, so the pub was very much in, um, just about to close. And just, just a very quick one, um, just on a different topic, can you, um, Regarding the search for the teenager um, off Granite Island, I know mm -hmm. that was called off last month. Is that still the case? Are there any further developments in that? Um, there has been no further developments um, in relation to that. The, the search um, went on for um, 12 days, I believe, in the end, um, with no trace of the male, unfortunately. Um, so as of um, the 12-day mark, we stood the search down. And, and some of the state to this body will be recovered? Um, it has happened before. Um, we've, we've had bodies recovered months after um, going missing in water, so it's 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 possible. Um, obviously, when someone goes missing in a marine environment, there's lots of factors that come into play. Um, so we're, we're, it's very much a wait and see. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks.